Hey, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we're going to be having a look at linear graphs. That's these guys here, nice straight line graphs. And we're going to be looking at how to use the information on linear graphs to put them in the form of a linear equation. Okay? It sounds a fairly complex thing, but it's really, really quite simple. And I'll show you how to uh, do this right now. So, first off, it's really important when we're doing this to remember the linear equation equation, the linear equation, the slope-intercept equation, which looks like this, y equals mx plus b. And if you know the different parts of these, and all linear equations can be represented by this particular equation, and if you know what the different parts of this means, putting together an equation from a graph, say, like this, or even from a table that has a bit of information, it's really simple. The first thing we have is this m part here. So we have the y and we have the x, and that's these parts here, okay, the, where they are on the vertical and where they are on the horizontal. The M here is the gradient. The gradient is how steep uh, the actual particular line is. Okay, Is it really steep? Is it not very steep? Okay, The steeper it is, the bigger number it has. Is it going up? Is it going down? A positive number and negative number here. Okay, So first off, this part here, and we also have this B part here. The B is what we call the Y intercept. And what that is, is that is where x equals 0, where the graph goes through the y-axis here, through this vertical axis. And if you can identify these, you can put any linear equation together from the graph. Okay, so let's uh, have a look at this. We'll launch straight into this now, and we'll go through a few examples. So let's have a look at these particular three lines here. So the first example we'll have a look at, out of these particular three lines, is the pink line here. And we're going to work out the equation for this one. So first off, what we're going to work out is this B part of this equation, which is the y-intercept, as you will remember. So what is the y-intercept? We've got B, and where do we go through this y the y-axis here? You're going to see it goes through where y is equal to 1, x is equal to 0, so we're going through at positive 1, okay? Positive 1, just here. So that's the first part of our graph. Our graph's going to be y equals something times x plus 1. Now let's work out what that something is, which is the gradient. The gradient, well, that's how steep things are. It's the rise divided by the run is how we work out the gradient. So the easiest way to do this now is we need to find points where we've got whole numbers. So we have here where x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to 5. And you're going to see that over at this part here, at this y-intercept, x is equal to 0, and y is equal to 1. So we can work out how much we have gone up or down and how far we have gone across. So you're going to see, as we do this, as this graph has progressed, we have gone down this far. We've gone down 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? So the rise is minus 4. We've gone down 4. And how far have we gone across? You're going to see here we've gone across 1, 2. So the rise over the run is minus 4 over 2, which is equal to minus 2. So now, just put the rest of the equation together. y equals mx plus b. y is equal to m, which is minus 2, x. So we have this b here, plus 1. Okay, nice and simple, yeah? All right, uh, let's go through a couple more examples. The second example we're going to have a look at is this blue line here, and we're going to work out the equation for this one. So, okay, once again, let's work out the y-intercept first. So where do we go through the y-axis here? And you're going to say, hang on, wait a second, we go through the y-axis, but it's at zero. And that's true. B is equal to zero. So we're going to end up with a particular type of uh, equation, which I'll show you in a second, actually. I'll surprise you, and you might be uh, knowing already what this will be. So now let's work out what the gradient is. M. Okay, so M is equal to the rise over the run. And now let's once again work out what that is. So we have a whole number value here. We're going to see we have, uh, at this point here, we have X is equal to minus 2, and we have Y is equal to minus 5. And we rise all the way up to 0 here. Okay, so we're going upwards. We've gone up to 0, 0. So, how much have we gone across and how much have we gone uh, up? Let's have a look. So, we've gone up 1, 2, 
3, 4, 5, we've risen 5, and we've gone across 2. So 5 divided by 2, this is equal to 2 and a half. Alright, now let's put this equation together. Y is equal to the gradient, which is 2 and a half, X, and you're going to say, okay, plus 0. Wait a second, do we have to add that 0? And you're going to think, well, we don't have to. And that's correct. We can just actually leave this equation as y equals 2 and a half x because adding 0, you know, well, it's not actually adding anything really, is it? So, nice and easy. Let's go have a look at the final example. So the very last equation now, we're going to have a look at this yellow line. So first off, let's work out the y-intercept. Where do we go through? Well, b is equal to minus 2. You can see that straight away. Okay, the gradient, m, equals the rise over the run. And this one here, okay, let's go, we, you can see here, and, uh, let's, let's find a nice spot that we go through. We know that we have this part here, where x is equal to 4, y is equal to 0, and we also know that we have this particular one here, that where x is equal to 0, y is equal to minus 2. So let's work it out from there. How much have we risen? We've risen 2. How much have we gone across? We've gone across 4. This is equal to... 2 divided by 4, which is a half. Let's put our equation together. y equals half x minus 2. And that is how we do this, okay? A nice simple way of putting equations together from graphs. I think you'll agree, okay? And, and it works for all of them. It's really, really simple, okay? You just got to keep your head about you and uh, make sure you don't panic when you see these things. They're, they're fairly simple. Anyway, see you next time. Bye.